Okay, hello everybody. This is um, for anyone seeing this on the ch YouTube channel is Dragon Ball 1957. Anyway, um, a quick video about active um, camera. I finally found a way and a permanent fix for it to like work for everybody. It, you know, you don't have to worry about doing something as an administrator or setting it to Windows. Um, compatibility. You don't have to do with those things. Um, it literally comes down to how you rename your your um, exe name and the version of it, the right DLL file, because um, there's a lot of bad ones floating around, and that's literally it. Um, so, um, if you don't already know, there's a lot of of the active cameras floating around. I'm the one who um, made the readme for this one. You can see my name is here. But um, I recently got a new laptop about a year ago, and it was giving me trouble um, to move around. I could only zoom in and out with the mouse, right? So pretty much, uh, let me show you. I'll just pick anyone. Doesn't really matter. Okay. First of all, as as we all know, you gotta go to options, active camera. You have to have internal pilot view on and you need to have enable wheel zoom and virtual cockpit. That's all you need at minimum. But I was only able to do this. Right? I couldn't look around. Um, or anything I could even save I couldn't even save views or low views if I click any of them it'll crash instantly um, but I fixed it right and I'll show you how to guarantee it it's not a random um, like a matter of if anymore um, I found out what the problem is um, first of all Check to see. I don't. Depending on where you got it from, you might have um, the wrong DLL file, right? I think one of the DLL files is supposed to be for 9.0, but either way, um, you don't need to be using 9.0. Um, you need to update your FS9 to 9.1, right? Which is what I have here. I think most of us know that by now. Um, yeah, 9.1. It just fixes a lot of things like frame rate issues, the bridges, a lot of things. You just need to have that at this point. There's no excuse. Even back then, everybody was using 9.1. So most of your stuff won't even work properly if you don't have that. All right? So the first thing you want to do is, oh, also, make sure you have the right size of the DLL. In your modules folder, if it's, if, if it's not saying 208 kilobytes, you have the wrong one. If you have, if it says 208, you have the right version, right? Because there's a lot of packs floating around with the wrong version. For example, um, like there's one that looks like this, right? And crack. I think I may have put that together too. It's actually wrong, um, or outdated at least. You see this one here? Oh wait, let me fix that. Hold on one second. Yeah. If you look at the file size for this one, it's not it's not the right one. Refresh that. Look at the size of this. Two sixteen. And the date is a year earlier. So it's either like a older version of active camera. Right, or it's an older version for active camera using 9.0, or it's an older version of active camera using 9.1. We don't even know, to be honest, and it's just too much confusion. You're better off not um, even using this. You're better off not even using it. It's a crack, but we don't even know for which versions. It's two things we need to know, and we don't even know which one this belongs to anymore, to be honest. Right? Is it for a version 9 or 9.0? And then also what version of active camera it is, right? Is it version one? Is it version two or two point one? We don't even know. We have no idea, and it causes all kind of problems. That whole thing about it freezing, 
when you look at different views and stuff it's all because of this you don't need this one this is the wrong version you need to make sure um, you're using the one like I said that's version um, that has a two-way kilobytes that's the right right version you should be using um, I don't know if this is um, active camera 2.1 but I know it's for definitely at least for Active Camera version two, which 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 has more features and 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 it requires um the 9.1 update. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Now the second thing is we need to get um the four gigabyte patch. It's not necessarily required, but it's best to have it because it fixes other stuff. Um and you have um you know no more memory issues and stuff but before we do that right the first thing you have to do because this is what kind of solved the problems but also created it you got to um, copy this this is the 9.1 this is the 9.1 no CD um, crack right you gotta copy this and make a backup of that and for now we'll just rename it FS9 um no cd right as a matter of fact i'll put nine so i remember that's a 9.1 you know it doesn't really matter but you gotta rename it something and now we have the original right that we're about to patch um so we're gonna run this and patch it you can type it or look for it doesn't matter now it's successfully patched, right? Now what we gotta do, and this is why it's important, you have to now rename this temporarily to anything other than FS9. I'll explain why. FS, I'll put four GB. Now the no CD crack that we have, we're gonna rename this back temporarily to FS9. And the reason is, it seems like the DLL file, at some point in the beginning, at least once, just to register it or whatever it is to properly function, it goes and it checks. Maybe I'm guessing because whoever wrote this, they didn't want it to um, work for people who, I guess, pirated or whatever reason, most likely for pirates or something at the time. Um, there's a it seems like there's a check that goes on inside this that it checks for the original, um, including the the um, no CD crack. But it seems like it checks FS9. If you if you try to do it with this with the four gigabyte one, if I renamed it to um, FS9, the, but it was from the four gigabyte patch file, it wouldn't work properly initially. You'd be able to zoom in and out, but you can't look left and right. So temporarily, you have to um, use rename this as something else the patch one and the original no CD 9.1 keep that as FS9 right because it's going to go and check once that check behind the scenes goes through it'll work just fine we can then leave the game and then now make this the default and rename the 4 gigabyte patch so I'm gonna run it quick oh yeah and you don't even have to you actually don't even have to um you don't even need to have it on compatibility patch and you don't need to run it as an administrator that actually doesn't even need to happen anymore but if you want to you can still do it I still do it because I don't know if something else all the other plugins are gonna have issues but as for things active camera it works just fine without it because I tried the demo of active camera and you don't need to do any of these things right the only limitation with active camera the demo is that you can only go to a particular airport as a demo but you never had to fill it with this stuff so why would you need to do that for the crack and that's what I realized is a check that goes on in the background but you can leave it on for all your other stuff so I just leave this checked on I hit apply doesn't matter right run FS9 the original one no CD crack 9.1 and I and you know this will show you that it's not the demo. KJFK. I'll just pick something else. KJFK. Right? And I'll even pick a plane that I already preset. 
So I'll pick this one for example. I like the deep time. Doesn't matter, I'm just and it works perfectly. There's no crashes or anything. I switched to the virtual console. Remember, make sure you're at least on internal pilot view and wheel enable. Um, so you can zoom in with the mouse wheel in the virtual cockpit. And literally, that's it, right? On your computer, it should just be able to work now properly. Like before, I could only do this. The moment I did what I just did, I was able to now look around as well. And I was able to make, you know, custom views. You can properly load it without it crashing if you had that problem as well. Right? Load A300 and 2. Now, all the views I've resaved work just fine. Even the options work just fine right for example okay I don't want to transition I want it to be instantly switching between the views that works perfectly fine too look at that some people I know had that issue some people couldn't look around now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit now right and now going forward now going forward right if you want and I recommend you can now um, the no CD crack that we just used. Remember, it seems like there's a check that goes on with the um that plugin, the um no active, sorry, the active ca the camera. It seems to want to check the EXE for something. I don't know for what, but it causes problems if you if you if you let it check um the FS9 file that was patched with the four gigabyte patch, it will crash. And it also has a problem if you let it check with a 9.0 no CD crack. It works perfect with the 9.1 which is recommended anyway. Why would you use 9.0? So now I'm going to rename this to no CD crack just so I know what this one is so I can tell and now the one that we patched the FS9 for gigabyte file we can now continue using this forever because obviously it's the better one to use right? It's more stable and stuff and that's it. Literally that's it. Right? I want to show you for proof I'll even uncheck the compatibility. I'll un uncheck the run as administrator, and it still works fine. And on top of that, we're using the um, four gigabyte patch one now. And it, and I guess whatever happens, it doesn't do that initial check anymore, or whatever was going on. It doesn't conflict anymore. So I'm running this again. Like I said, it's still checked, right? These are still checked. Internal, the wheel. Um, I didn't save this, so, but I'll just keep this out. I'll even load my my views. It doesn't give me any issues. I can still look around. See, perfectly fine. I can still load my views up, and there you go. that's it that's the problem um, I'll double check the link that I have um, on my drive and I'll link it in the description um, and if it's from Facebook I'll just have the link in the Facebook group um, if you want to join the Facebook group too I'll add the Facebook group link in the description um, you know because there's not many much of us out there I mean there is but not many people know of the Facebook group. Um, so yeah. So that's solved.